Hey guys, welcome back to Nerd Impact's weekly. Or, oh my god, I'm just talking about over. No, don't start it over. It's fine. Welcome back to Nerd Impact's incoming weekly. Uh, we just re retrieved Nick from the boo box. Um, <laughs> no shenanigans in here. Yeah, no shenanigans. <laughs> uh, we've got some some news this week. A lot of it's uh, some DC news. A little sprinkle of Spider Man news and a little sprinkle of. Uh, some Whip Miller World news. <laughs> if we have to. Netflix um, isn't. <laughs> not, they're not happy with it. So, Nick, I might be showing you this for the first time. I don't know. Have you seen the Shazam costume, man? I did Shazam see it. Too? You did show me it. Oh, I did show, I, show you it. I said he looks ripped. You might have been referencing me because I haven't I haven't seen it. I, that was the one thing I well, I showed I Nick didn't. it yesterday. I, I, hmm. I forgot. That's a handsome During his, that's uh, a handsome his birthday uniform. celebrations, but... Dude, this this new um, Shazam costume, guys, uh, it's so much cooler looking than the one. It's so much more mature. That's what I'm saying. Like it's yeah, yeah. The first one looked like much like the movie was. It's kind of like a superhero parody kind yeah. of thing. Mm -hmm. This costume, and if like you a... played Injustice Gods Among Us, this looks a hell of a lot of the Black Adam costume, just recolored. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I see that. And no cape. He really does. Well, Adam has a there's, cape, there's, there's, it? There's, there's going to be a cape, yeah. He really That's, does look like an Olympian deity. I'm wondering if the cape from what we're seeing here, because you see, you can see the um, a cable behind him there, and you can see the two pins that hold the cape on yeah. there. So I'm wondering if the cape for this scene, at least, is yeah, going to be CG. The, uh, you can see that the post too by his uh, his groin. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so I'm, I'm wondering if it's going, if the cape for this scene will, will be CG. Yeah. Um, but yeah, but this costume, man, the, the texture, it looks much thinner. The first mm -hmm. costume looked very padded. This costume looks ver very thin and streamlined and looks like Zach Zachary Levi's really show. I'm sure there's a little bit of padding in there, but Zachary Le Levi's showing off more of that super. Got the abs, physique. man. Got those abs. Looking good. Like I said, it looks, it looks very mature. It's a very, it, um, it's very sleek. Very cool. I like that all red, man. Yeah. So we, we found this on, on screen rant. Um, uh, the, the, it was put out on Twitter, the image, but also, uh, a few other things about the Fury of the Gods, the second Shazam movie, uh, looks like they're going to be focusing for the villains on Atlas, um, Atlas daughters. Hmm. Have you guys seen, seen any of that news? No. Yeah. So looks like we're going to get some guy, and I don't even think the two daughters are using in the movie were even necessarily in the comics. So they're veering away a little bit there, and the first one really seemed to tease Mr. Mine, mm -hmm. and maybe we'll we will get him to some extent that we're not currently aware of, um, but doesn't seem like they're not they're at least not putting that out. They're really focusing on the idea of these uh, two Greek goddesses being the main villains, but uh, yeah, looks looks like a really cool uh, some cool stuff going on there, Nick. Got some other DC news, man. I love seeing it. You tell like, us a little bit about this Flash movie. What came out recently? We recently got a picture of what appears to be Michael Keaton's bat symbol with some blood splattered on it. Yeah, so this so. was released by Andy Muschietti on Twitter. Um, what are your ideas, Nick, on what the, what this image could mean? I think he killed the Joker. That's one and way it could go. Yeah. That is Michael Keaton's version of Batman, and he killed the Joker. I like your style. <laughs> I like your style a lot. Well, he did kill the Joker, though. Yeah. The first one the, yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, I, it's, he's, he's probably, he's probably, it's probably accurate. I like, I like the way that's, that makes a lot of sense. Although, in the Crisis crossover when they go to earth 89 when we see earth 89 briefly don't they show the newspaper says that he recently locked up the joker which is weird considering we actually see the joker die in the first movie no but there's more than one joker in that universe that's why remember in the 80 in the 89 universe mm -hmm. I don't yeah know, when, when it goes, in, when it goes into the yeah when it goes in 
to the comics. Like, yeah, he's just he's just taking on and I uh, on a part of the identity of the of the Joker. Tim well, Burton had a Tim Burton had a lot had a lot more planned for that. Well, either way, it's a really cool image, and I've also seen some people teasing that this actually looks almost like in the um, Doomsday Clock storyline. Mm. Batman finds the the smiley face pin in the Batcave. You know, like from from uh, I, I always Watchmen, want, yeah, with the the blood spatter, and this looks kind of reminiscent of that. And you know, I I, I always want to see anything that that has a possibility of leading into the Nightfall storyline. I'd be I'm I'm totally I'm totally yeah. okay with. Another thing that I, I I think I mentioned to you earlier, Jake, that I always thought from this Crisis crossover when we see the Batman eighty nine universe was the the bat signal in the sky to me looked an awful lot like Batman Beyond, mm-hmm. and that's been something that fans have been wanting for a long time is seeing Michael Keaton take on that role to a younger Batman. So I wonder if that could have. Well, um, it ties the like two of the furthest points of that universe together too, you know. Yeah. Especially like when you see. Um, his um his name is escaping me right now. The reporter when he's um, Knox. Yeah, when Knox is looking up mm-hmm. from the from the alleyway, and then you see that symbol. It's like wow. It's like okay, like this 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 is really has some reach. To mm-hmm. it. it could also be Jason Todd's blood. Mm-hmm. That's an option. Um. Yeah. They really like their Joker stuff, though. Like, I could definitely see that being a way of having Joker in that universe, but not having him physically there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You don't think Jack Nicholson would be up for it? Popping in the, as an old man Joker? What if Danny DeVito comes back as the Joker instead of, since he couldn't, you know, since they're not doing the Penguin? <laughs> I don't know if I want to see that. It'd be weird, wouldn't it? Would that be? It'd be hard. The brain, the brain would have a hard time processing that. Damn, I picked a cute one. <laughs> Best final lines in any movie ever. It's so good. It's like I don't know. My nose could be gushing blood. Yep. <laughs> That's one of my things. That's such a good movie. So, uh, hopping over to Marvel slash Sony here. We have uh, uh, Samford Panich, I think that's how you say his last name, uh, the Sony Pictures Motion Picture Group president. Um, talked a, a little bit in a uh, interview with Variety about the future of Sony and told us there is a plan going forward with Spider-Man as well as the other characters and how they're going to integrate. Talks a little bit about, about like working with, um, with Kevin Feige and that they love working with him. But... We got some other tangential news as well. I don't remember where it was originally reported, but what do you guys think about Aaron Taylor Johnson playing Craven the Hunter? It's, you know, go ahead, Nick, because mine isn't necessarily related to My vote movie. is to have Nick play Craven the Hunter. I could. Nick could, <laughs> Nick could <laughs> definitely pull up. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't I hesitate? But... As far as Aaron Taylor Johnson, I'm. I don't think I'm too familiar with his work. I'm really Silver, not either. Kick ass. Um, he was, he was uh, Brian Cranston's oh, yeah, 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 son yeah, yeah. in the first Godzilla movie. Okay. Uh, no, I'm not seeing it. I'll take it. Give it to me. <laughs> I don't know. I can see him as a young Craven. I think it would work. It'd be a really young Craven. Yeah, he is on the younger side, but maybe maybe this is a Craven. I'm thinking this is probably a Craven origin story. And it's from you know they have they have the Morbius movie coming. Jake, hold your comments. They have Morbius movie coming. They got we got the Venom. Um, we've seen Vulture is a more complicated character. It, assuming that he's going to be in this universe, they did show him the Morbius trailer. But anyway, my point is. All these characters, these villains that they are bringing in, they seem to be all showing in an anti-hero light. So I'm thinking the Sinister Six is going to be more of an anti-hero group in this in the the, the Spump universe. Sony Don't do it. Why do you do it? Marvel characters. Don't be that guy. Is going to be more, <laughs> more, uh, more of almost like a Thunderbolts group. That'd be so cool. I'd like to have Thunderbolts show. 
We're, we're losing you, Jake. We're if, losing if me. You're falling Am I down doing space. it? You're falling I didn't, down I, in space. I was. I just closer, realized I wasn't touch. He was leaning towards me, so the T-shirt was misleading. This will be fixed when we have a proper tie. It's not going to be fixed. Pro- I'm camera. a problem. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're a good problem to have, Jake. Thanks, man. Yeah. Um. So Look, yeah, I I got word on the street like when I I. It's just funny, like, how do I feel about Craven Hunter? I don't know how I really feel about it. I'm not, like, I'm with Nick. I don't have a lot of familiarity with with the guy. But um, just as, like, this week, a couple times this week, um, I've had some people come by um, the toy shop. Um, Throw it out there. Yeah. Had, yeah. Bootleg Bonanza. Hashtag. Bootleg toys. Like, Over in Pottstown. Yeah. Right across from Argento's on... Um yeah, it's it, it, I work at an awesome toy shop in Pottstown, PA, um, called Bou- Boulet Bonanza. We do some awesome, awesome custom custom kit bash. We do original sculpts, just some just amazing stuff. And check us out on Facebook, Instagram, online. We're everywhere. Hopefully, we'll be in your neighborhood soon. We're sitting on your shelf. Some amazing stuff. But um, while I was at the shop, there's this one guy. There's this kid that comes by all the time. Huge comic book fan. I think you 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 ran into him, mm-hmm. uh, Josh. Hey, he's a bit of an eccentric. We have a little. Sometimes we have a little bit of a hard time with him around the shop, but he cares a lot about comic books, and he's very passionate about the characters he does care about. And he cannot stand the choice of this. And there was a guy that came by the shop while he was there that I didn't know heard us talking about it, and he went. He was right on board with it, like. It's I don't know like that's like the first two people that I've heard other than like people in our group mm-hmm. they don't seem that uh seem that thrilled about it and they all I'm, have diff, like definite opinions of why it should be somebody else. I I'm I'm on board with it. Um I I think you know a good actor and a good role is never a mistake. The guy, the guy's certainly fit enough. He's a little young. I'll admit than I was expecting for Craven the Hunter. I always thought more of a Jeffrey Dean Morgan when I thought of Craven. I've just never really, I, I honestly, I've just never really thought about it. And I'm, I'm not saying like they're like I was ever like I would be oppo- would be opposed to it. I love Craven the Hunter, especially in like Spider Man the animated series. Mm-hmm. Loved it. Great. Always, always an entertaining uh, twenty seven minutes when uh, Craven was in an episode. I wonder if even before we get Spider Man back in the Sony universe, um, which is also kind of what. He was alluding here to uh, the president when he said there, there, there's a plan going forward. They kind of know what they're doing um, with bringing Spider-Man back eventually. But um, what? But, Craven the Hunter is such a big guy, though. In the comics, right, but what, such a so what big I was gonna guy. Say that. And that guy's he's just not a big guy. And it's not against, like I said, like it's nothing against the guy. Like I'm not super familiar with his work, but I love Kick Ass. I just I just didn't remember he was in it. I'm a huge Godzilla fan. I think anybody that's giving me five five minutes of time talking about anything in that versus um, but it, love it. But I, like I defend, I defended feet, him in man. that movie. Alan Taylor Johnson nearly, nearly no, but six not feet, not even like, about that. Like I mean, built. just he's jacked, man. Craven's just a wide like a wall. Well, anyway, guy. I can where <laughs> where I was going though was like Hugh Jackman kind of or uh, what's the, um my name just um. Just, uh, just popped out of my brain. Uh, a guy played Aquaman. Jason Momoa. Yeah. Like, he's like that shape guy. Well, hold on, Jake. Where, where I'm going with this, though, is what even before they bring Spider-Man back, I could see them doing a Craven the last hunt or Venom as the one being hunted instead of, instead of Spider-Man. Yeah, you know, this alien Craven's organism come. being the perfect yeah. prey. And and they've been they've been in in universe before too. That that that's been some good runs too. Craven uh, go and Venom matched up. Mm-hmm. I, I'll be honest with you. The the I'm really excited about Venom coming out. It it, it almost got halted for a minute. We're not we're once again not going to bring that up because it was it was it was a uh, misread on my part. But um, I'm already I'm already waiting for like I'm already excited for where it's going to go next because I'm sure there's going to be a third Venom movie and I think they should do the madness, mm-hmm. the Juggernaut, and some of the other. Uh, Venom symbiotes it would be super cool. Yeah, but yeah, but uh, Craven. Yeah, uh, Pan. But uh, yeah. So also though, um, when pa- was it Pantrich? Is that his name? Yeah, pa- I think Pan- that's how you said. Pan- Panitich. Panitich. Pan- Panitich. 
I can't pronounce his name. But anyway, when he was talking, he did, <laughs> he did set. He was talking a little bit about the possibility of Sinister Six, and he was like, "Yeah, it'd be cool, wouldn't it?" Um, right. I think he also kind of said that about. I didn't see it in this article, but I was listening to, you know, you know, I'm a big John Campy guy. Love his show, and he had talked about an interview. I'm not sure whether or not it was the same one, but an interview where he had said, you know, teased a little bit. You know, we don't. What if we did have Spider Man show up in Venom too? He's like, that'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? And the other thing with Venom 2 is they've teased... they sh- So they show us the Daily Bugle. And what's interesting with the Daily Bugle when they show us the, the Daily Bugle uh, header on the paper is that it looks like the Raimi universe mm-hmm. logo. Yeah. Not the logo that we got in Far From Home. No. So what if this whole time that the Venom, Venom movie and going forward, No Way Home... What if our Tom Holland ends up in the Sam Raimi universe? That's an interesting. That, that's an interesting way of looking at. It. Yeah, you could see that. I, I I would definitely prefer that Spider Man to be the one that crosses over. Yeah. So, a lot of cool stuff going on with this the Sony stuff. Um, I think it's going to be interesting to see how going forward how how they bridge the Marvel yeah Spider Man stuff with the Sony stuff. So, we'll see how that goes, but. Guys, there's another universe. Uh, Netflix got this, this Miller World thing, kind of, sort of. Yeah. Seems to be fizzling a little bit. You want to talk about that a little bit, Jake? Um, well, yeah, dude, I was super let down. Like Apparently, like a lot of people were, by uh, Jupiter's legacy. It's like, it, it, it spent, spent a little bit of time in uh, Netflix top slot, but it's uh, it got canceled after, after one season. And... Netflix has apparently put a lot of um, they put a lot of stock not only into that project it was like something like two hundred million yeah I mean that project that's a lot to it's like I mean I think that was part of the reason like they I'm sure they're not happy about all the money they sank into it but they figured they're going to save some money by you know cutting their losses now mm-hmm. but it, it doesn't it doesn't bode a lot of confidence for this uh, they have a whole universe like they. They bought like I mean they they bought stock and they like really got stock in it. They they have a lot of the properties. Yeah. They plan on really going forward with this thing and their first launch of it was wasn't great. Well, it's like they say, man, it's how Marvel did it. You don't lead into it thinking about a cinematic universe. Yeah, and you they know, really think about did. one property at a time. Well, and, and Netflix has 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 done it in the past and it's always been successful. So I think they I think they were kind of caught off guard by it too. That's why like this cancellation was abrupt. Like it wasn't something that like other than if you like I think if you were watching it, you're like, there's no way that this is gonna stay a thing. Well, but they, <laughs> we're talking about Marvel, and the only successful kind of cinematic universe that Netflix had was their Netflix Marvel universe. Yeah, I mean so. they've started these other little universes. Like they got the, the Stranger Things is a, is in a whole other universe in itself. They've started their own little. But it's only been one show that they've had to worry about. Right. They, yeah, they haven't bran- they haven't branched out a lot. Yeah. This has this had this has a lot of branches, but the tree doesn't seem to be too strong so far. <laughs> um, You're not excited to see a Super Crooks series, Nick? <laughs> not it. I, I'll be honest. I would like say Jupiter's Legacy never debuted on there like mm-hmm. i and some there's like oh super cooks like if i was just scanning mm-hmm. i don't i don't have this awesome show that we have here mm-hmm. at nerd impact and i'm i'm just sitting at home watching netflix and i'm like oh super cooks hey that sounds like something in my wheelhouse mm-hmm. like i'd watch that so i'm guessing but now if i saw you know coming uh coming in july super cooks you know mm-hmm. from the people who did jupiter's legacy i'd be like yeah, i'm gonna I, I'm probably not even going to put that on my list. I'll, I'll get back to that. Yeah, and we know we're not getting a season two, but we're still going to be in that world. It just it feels kind of like a weird thing, because the, the the story with season one just never took off. Yes, yeah. it it's like it was a really good start, it was solid, but six episodes. In, I told you said like three episodes in for you, but it was like six episodes in for me. Now I'm just like, this just isn't. It's not going nowhere. No, it really wasn't. I'm like, oh, that's exactly what I said. I'm like. What is what is the point? Of Great this? setup yeah. and no delivery. <laughs> no nothing. It's just and it, I'm like it's just so boring. I like I literally turned it off in the middle of an episode. Like I never do that with anything. I'll, I'll fall asleep and restart something. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? 
Even if it's something like I have to get through it, you know, or whatever. <laughs> it was just, I'm like, no, no I'm good. Like, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I, this, like, this is, I'm like, this is so dull. Mm-hmm. It just didn't have anything to it. And it didn't, and it wasn't necessarily the imagery. And it kind of, I watch a lot of cheesy stuff. I mean, like, the stuff that we watched on Friday night. Like, we watched some, I'm, I'm a huge fan of Nemulin. It's just a pink, badly puppeteered alien. Glowworm with yeah. wings. That <laughs> in a show that has absolutely no plot and just the worst erratic editing. I would watch that series front to back before I would turn this back on. And it's, mm-hmm. it's just... It, it 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 just didn't do anything. I want I wanted it to, cause it's cool cool universe. Like you go look at the comics, like read the comics of this series. Like they they actually they like the, all the graphic novels actually just went up. I was like a complete thing I saw actually on uh, I don't know if it was comics. It was one of the one of the streaming sites for comics. Awesome awesome art, amazing mm-hmm. amazing stuff. And it's, I, I don't. And, you know they do a lot of stuff though. Netflix does a lot of stuff. They got a, they got a long road ahead of them though with this Mylerverse. I think that's how you say it. Actually, I think it's Myler. It's Miller. Is it Miller? It is Miller. I've heard um, of, I've that's heard how of, he that's how he says his name is Miller. That's not. And he corrected John Campia. So, <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, oh. I think it was it was John Campia or Mark Bernard, and he corrected one of those guys. <laughs> but um, yeah, one of those shows I was watching, they were talking about it. But anyway, um, the name confusion. I've heard it like I've heard it out loud said that way. That's hey, funny. They said it too. Anything me. else, Marvel, you're excited for coming out this week? Loki. <laughs> oh, I've been waiting for this ever since they announced the uh, the limited series. So, yeah. Sorry, WandaVision. Sorry, Falcon Winter Soldier. But this is, this is what I've been waiting for. I'm really excited to see Loki and, like, going throughout time with the... Uh, I keep forgetting the name of the organization. Time Variant Authority? Yeah, Time Variant Authority. And just causing all so kinds cool. of mischief. And his staff and his helmet. Yeah. And Owen Wilson. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> We're traveling through time. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. It, dude, I, lo- I love the fact that Owen Wilson's there. I love it. I have a, I have a, I have a sweet spot for that guy. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not usually a fan of like who he partners up with in most like most of his movies. I I dig over. Well, this time he's, he's got some. This charm. time he's partnering up with Tom Hiddleston as Loki. So it's pretty cool, man. <laughs> it's gonna be. It's gonna be a pretty cool setup. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be camping out here some nights to 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 watch some uh to watch some Loki episodes. Most definitely. I want. To, I want a part of that one. Definitely exciting. What are you hoping to see from the series yourself, Nick? We know we're going in time. We know we're never going to see probably some variations of history what kind of stuff you uh looking forward to either marvel related or just some crazy shit that pops in your mind i want to see him like really mess up at different points in history creating all kinds of different time (laughs) branches and then yeah that if that happens then you get even further into like the whole multiverse madness thing i guess but um maybe that's a little bit of stretch I think it's very likely, like, we, we talked about some of those images that we see, the statues that we see in the trailer, remember? Yeah. That it seems like it's te- teasing, we're going to, we might get to see some versions of Kang of Conqueror pop, popping up around the place. Yeah, I, dude, it would be, that would be great. That's, that's definitely, a, and we, we've talked about that too, that, like, to be able to use one of these shows as a platform to initiate the next, one of the next big bids in the universe. Yeah, and we know he's going to be. Um, that dude is a massacre. We know that he's going to be popping up. Jonathan Majors is going to be Kang the Conqueror mm-hmm. in uh, Ant Man uh, Quantumania. Yeah. So that that could be really really cool. Yeah, he has potential to be the like. There, the next there's no, there, yeah, there, yeah, and there's there's no way to really to do to do him to do him safe. Like there was like there's some reserve when they do most of their. Like uh, super mm-hmm. villains and stuff like that, they end up like they're Kang the Conqueror. Like, no, you do him, you're going all in. Yeah, <laughs> there's no recompense after that. And that's and pretty his, cool. In his history, like in the comics, we've seen so many different versions of him: Immortus, Siren Lad, Rama Tut, uh, the Scarlet Centurion. Well, what's like, great I is I want to see Jonathan Majors, uh, Kang the Conqueror, killing Kang the Conqueror at some point. 
I, I'd like, <laughs> I'd like, but at this, you know, that would be cool. And then he thinks he kills Kang the Conqueror, but Kang the Conqueror actually put like is now like a third Kang Cracker pops up behind him and kills him. No, is in <laughs> it, no, is in um, Ironheart. Oh, the, the you mean like maybe the young Iron Lad version? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and maybe in the Armor War, War series, I think that's where Ironheart's actually going to pop up. That that Armor War series with yeah. uh, with War Machine, that'll be cool. And um, what's her name? Yeah, yeah, that would be cool. That'd be really cool. Um, another Marvel news that there's just so much that there's just so many places that he could go though, like yeah, and and the Loki show could be the way that we see all the different mm-hmm. ways that he could go. That's that's really cool. But um, another thing that uh, almost slipped my mind earlier was that we did get an image this I think it was this past week of Mark Ruffalo mm. in his mocap suit, very similar to the mocap suit that he wore in Avengers Endgame as Professor Hulk for the She-Hulk series. So it looks like that that question of will Mark Ruffalo be Bruce Banner or Hulk in She-Hulk mm-hmm. has been answered. Maybe we'll see both, but we do know at least we will see him as Hulk. He's going to be a genius. I wonder if he'll still have the messed up arm. Or if that'll be taken care of. From cool. using the Infinity Stones? Yeah. Remember what, it burnt, burned up his arm? What if he's got some um, some Stark Tech stuff that Tony left him with? Cause Tony, Remember Tony left everybody... Um, for when he remember when he, he's like he said when he when he left he's like he's got he had stuff that he had tailor made for everybody. I just had a thought too. How cool would that be with like some Stark nanotech that like stays with him when he's human and goes turns the Hulk. Well, and I was also thinking cool. you remember Maestro's got that, those arm braces. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. What, like, what, what if, if they, we see him? Yeah, he's Professor Hulk. What if we see him transitioning into freaking Maestro? Yeah, see, look, there's the that's the sleeve. Like, what if yeah. that's what if that's Stark nanotech, dude? That would be so cool. Yeah, we we and maybe maybe Jennifer Walter She Hulk gets a little concerned about her cousin, maybe uh, getting a little carried away and heading down the wrong path. You know how you know Tony Stark is just his involvement with anything. Even his equipment can mess people up. <laughs> or just that, that, kind of like as we saw with Professor Hulk in the comics, that this is really just another another personality. Yeah, and, and he and not... he and he go and he ends up disappearing into that where he can't he has a hard time mm-hmm. escaping it. Yeah, it'd be cool to get some version of the and monster eventually. But... We've already seen. Um, I, well, I call him Caveman Hulk. Who is in uh, Glad- uh the Green Scar? Yeah, but I call him <laughs> But we saw him in Ragnarok, the Breaker of Worlds. So cool, man! But they did him great in that movie. That's still like one of my favorite Marvel movies of all. Like mm-hmm. in the in in that in like in the Avengers part of the universe. I I love Rag- Thor Ragnarok. It's just great. But uh, great. Anything else to say, guys? Any final thoughts? Yeah, you guys got to watch Cruella because it was amazing. And we talked about that, I think, at some point on the show, at least briefly. And it was great. I love Bad Bitches. We'll definitely have to get and on that. And she is one. And they're, they're, they're already, like, they set up to go into, like, the, the way the movie ended. And I'll spoil it. So, because you guys should have already watched it. That's how good it is. It's so worth it. Spoiler warning. No. <laughs> known warning there's going to be 101 Dalmatians origin story that takes place before that Corella and then movie ends with like Corella sent the each of the before the couple gets together to get married and have their kids mm-hmm. like you know 101 Dalmatians mm-hmm. opens up with the you know the dog sitting by the piano and he's, yeah the last scene in Corella the the mid credit scene is the guy coming up with the music at the piano. And he was Corella's lawyer who she fired. <laughs> so it's so cool. Like, and she sends him Pogo, the adult Dalmatian. Okay. Well, don't give, don't give any more because I see Nick's oh, so ear, cool. Nick's got steam coming out of his ears. Steam? Yeah. He hates spoilers. He hates spoilers? Yeah. It's like I said, it's not a spoiler. There's going to be a 101 Dalmatians movie. It's so cool. So cool. But yeah, guys, um, so 
Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, please go check out uh, Bootleg Bonanza. They got a lot of cool stuff there. Um, a lot of really, really artistic takes takes on toys. Yeah, if, um, if, if you're if you're in our area, like Eastern PA, we're like in the Philadelphia region. If you're around the area, you should definitely come check it out. It's a worthwhile trip out there. Um, you can you can personally message me on Facebook if you want. If you if we're if we're not open hourly, you can we can definitely. The guys would love to come down and meet anybody. It's a really really cool shop. We've got some amazing amazing stuff. Um, and we can make whatever stuff. Which is, mm -hmm. but we'll leave a link in great. description to their site, um, and their social media. But uh, yeah, that's it for today. Like, comment, subscribe on Facebook and on YouTube. And Nick, stay nerdy.